Angels Journal Life. Hello and welcome to the Rangers Journal, my name is Kai Watson and today is the start of a new series where every Friday we're going to look at the rumours of potential incomes at Rangers. There's not been too many this week so this might be a short video but going on hopefully in the next few weeks it's going to be a bit busier I think depending on what happens in the second leg against Dynamo Kiev. We we'll kind of know a wee bit more about how much money we've got to spend and maybe get some incomings before the playoff round. But again, only two rumours this week really, so Wade Albi and Rachmani at the start of the week and Leo Castledine. Two rumours we're going to look at both players, kind of where the rumours came from, talk a bit about the players, I know we've already spoke about from Manny quite a lot, but we're going to speak about them today because there was only really two potential incomings this week, that's been the rumours anyway, so let's get started. So we'll just start off with where the rumour came from, so a report in Romanian media had said that Rapid Bucharest had previously been asking for €8 million, Euros, but they were willing to drop that to €6 million Euros with a 20% sell-on clause, and in that report it also said that Rangers were potentially preparing a bid. Again, it didn't really get picked up too much in Scottish media, it was picked up by Rangers fans, so I don't know the legitimacy of it. I don't know if it's something that's going to happen, obviously. If you've paid attention, Neil Lennon over there has kind of been going through some things, so hasn't really been in and around the squad, so I don't know if they're going to make moves without the manager there. I don't know the full situation over there that's going on with that. But again, he's a player that's been linked throughout the summer, someone that we potentially thought we were going to be priced out of, but again, I think that depends on potentially getting someone like Serie Odessos out the door. It depends on qualifying for the Champions League. I know a lot of fans had wanted Bojan Miovsky, I think, albeit Rahman, he's a very similar player. I just think he's a bit more mobile. I also think he's got a higher ceiling, obviously. Saying that, well, Bojan Miovsky is potentially going to Girona and La Liga and playing Champions League football. It might sound a bit daft, but having watched a lot of both players, I think Romani does have the ability to step up a couple more levels compared to kind of coming from Kosovo in football to Romanian football. I think he's got another couple of levels to go up. So look at some of his stats from last season and just kind of a profile of the player himself. So he's 23, Kosovo, 6 foot 2, currently pays for Rapid Bucharest, transfer market having valued at 2.1 million. Look at his key stats from last season. 24 appearances, 23 from the start, 17 goals and 5 assists, 121 minutes per goal, 93 minutes per goal contribution, 22% conversion rate, 2 key passes per game, 40% dribble success per game, 1.2 fills, 1 per game and 40% duels, 1 per game. Really impressive numbers, obviously 22 goal contributions and 23 starts, 24 total appearances, 121 minutes per goal, really really impressive with the 22% conversion rate to go along with that. And the 93 minutes per goal contribution means he contributes almost a goal of a goal contribution every single game. Just incredible numbers, a really talented player. Again, he's only 23. He's developed really well, going from playing in Kosovo over to Romania. He's taken it like a duck to water, and the form's just been really impressive. Did have an ankle injury last season, and he's been out for a couple of weeks just now. They thought it was going to be a serious injury, which obviously would have scuppered any chance of a move. But he is back in training, he's looking to get back on the pitch, so it'll be interesting to see how that develops with injury and how he recovers from that. Talking about the transfer fee, I do still think that the €6 million Euros and the 20% sell-ons is maybe a bit steep. I do think he's a player if he comes in, continues the form he's been on, that the Rangers are going to be able to make big profit on him, but still paying the €6 million Euros and the 20% sell-on could be a bit steep just now. I don't know if it's something that Rangers are going to be looking at doing. We do need, in my opinion... A better number than Serie Odessos, as good as I say, as good as he was, he wasn't really that impressive until he scored the goal the other night. But he's shown that he's capable of getting goals. But if you can get your money back for Serie Odessos and get someone like Rachmani in, I think you need to do it. You need to look at the player trading model, you need to look at the quality of player, the age difference. There's about six years of an age difference between between him and Serie Odessos. So you can have him leading the line with the likes of Danilo and Eggerman in behind them. I think it's a much stronger strike force than we currently have just now. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, like I say, how he gets back to fitness, how Rangers got on the Champions League, if that kind of forces a move through or if they manage to sell Serial Dessers. He was apparently close to joining PA, okay, but nothing ever came of that. And he's still at the club just now and there's not been any rumours of him going anywhere else. So it's one to keep an eye on. Definitely an interesting one. We've been linked to Rachmani for a while. And Dessers is obviously been linked with the move away, I think. Dessers needs to go for him to be able to come in, so we definitely want to keep an eye on. The only other rumour this week we're looking at is Leo Castledine. 18-year-old Englishman currently plays for Chelsea, so this came from Football Scotland, who suggested that Rangers were looking into a loan move. 
I think the suggestion in the article was that Rangers were looking for a loan with an option to buy, but it's something that Chelsea weren't interested in. Again, he's a young player that has a lot of potential. I think they probably see him getting a loan, moving and being able to sell him for a lot more than the potential buy option. So looking at some of his numbers from the Premier League 2 last season, in 19 appearances, 17 from the start, he managed 10 goals and 7 assists, 152 minutes per goal, 84 minutes per goal contribution, 0.5 goals per 90, and he'd recently signed a new deal until 2027, so it seems unlikely that Chelsea are going to add that option to buy, unless they were just getting them to sign a new contract to up his value a wee bit, but again, that seems unlikely when you've got a young goal-scoring midfielder. He can play as deep as an 8, he can play high up as a 10, but again, getting goals from midfield is something that Rangers have really struggled with recently, so even if it's a loan deal, if they can't afford that type of player, because those type of players are really expensive, they're really hard to come by, so teams that have goals scoring midfielders aren't really going to be willing to sell easily. So it could be a good stopgap until we get more money and potentially the Champions League money. We could look at it again in January or look at it again next summer when there's a bit more money in the club. But just looking at his qualities, he's really good at arriving late in the box, the kind of Scott Arfield goals that we used to have. He's a brilliant set-piece taker. He scored numerous free kicks. If you look up any of his highlights, it's just him scoring free kicks, basically. So he's a really good set-piece taker. Depending on if James Tavernier here, it could be something that you want to add if Tavernier leaves. And then who's really the next option? So Castle Diamond would be a good option for that. You can't really take away the goals from midfield. Like Rangers pretty much don't have any. It looked like Diamandi might add some goals to the midfield when he scored two goals in two games after they come in in January, but he didn't really add to that. So it'll be interesting to see if he can add some more goals to his game. Connor Barron's not really a goal-scoring midfielder. So again, you're relying on someone like Tom Lawrence or the wingers and strikers and in goals, but you do really need goals from midfield. It's something that kind of Celtic have managed in recent years when they've won the title through someone like Matt O'Reilly, and it's a massive gap that Rangers don't have just now. So really need somebody in that position that can drive forward, drive late in the box and get some goals. And Castledown would provide that, even if it's on loan, he could provide it for a year. And again, look at the market next season, we've got a bit more money, hopefully, to play with and get a player in permanently. But that's only really two rumours that we've had in the last week. It's been very, very quiet since Robin Proper came in. Last thing I want to talk about in today's video is actually yesterday's video. So we made it members only. The reason we've done that is we've had a few kind of loyal members recently and we've had nothing to offer them at all. So... Friday video will always be free. The Thursday video is going to be a members only video from now on. Like I say, we've had really loyal members that are paying for a membership and not getting anything for it essentially. So I'm going to make that video a members only video. It's something we've kind of thought about for a while because we've always been looking at what we could provide members. And this is something I think we can provide all the podcasts throughout the week. Still being free, the Friday video is going to be free. It's just that video is going to be for members only just to offer them something again like i say we've had we have had loyal members that have been getting nothing in return so this is just to give them something back and that's kind of the reason why we're doing it just to explain it from a point of view there it's not really fair in the members who have been really loyal and been signing up for the memberships and haven't been getting anything extra in return so that's for them hopefully you can all appreciate that but again i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.